Oh, hey, Dylan. Hey. <laughs> um, I mean, Jeremy. No, mm. um, welcome to the couch. We haven't done a couch yeah. video in a while. Uh huh. We're doing the top 10 most hated bands today. Right. So, this, this top is, 20. Top 20, sorry. The, this is not our Very top good. 20 Thank least hated. <laughs> our most hated. We're not was, responsible for this list. This is determined by science. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they looked up a bunch of blogs and everything and they put it all together. So, and, we, we're getting this source material from audacity.com. So, blame them, not us. Yeah. But it says, best life online.com use science mm. and math to determine mm -hmm. the most hated bands of all time. They create an algorithm based on things like most hated lists, message boards, articles that came up with the top or bottom 20. Yeah. So this is not our opinion. And there's some of these that I strongly disagree with. Yeah. There's um, much worse bands. <laughs> there's much worse bands. And I actually have a few that I'll bring up that I think should have made the list. Yeah, okay. But um, anyways, this they actually have 21. Okay. Which I don't know why you wouldn't just round it to 20. Yeah, well, they had to throw in the number one, which is obvious. Right. <laughs> which we'll get uh, to. <laughs> <laughs> you are, if you're watching this video, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> um, number 21 is Linkin Park, which... Yeah. I, I get it, but I loved Linkin Park as a youngin. I think I, I just... You're a little older than me. I just missed it to where they seemed like so cheesy when they came out to me. I mean, they were, but I was... I was, I was yeah, I think me. if I was two years before, I would have been the sweet spot, which uh, one of the bands on here, I was, and okay, embarrassingly well, enough. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Yeah. Okay, um, <laughs> number 20 is the Spin Doctors. Okay. Which I'm not, um, I don't know anything about the Spin Doctors. Yeah, few, and I, few do, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> I've heard of them. Like, yeah. I had to look it up, because, like, so I um, listened to, the, like, their top songs on iTunes. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know these. No, no, right. I'm not a fan. Right, and I guess they were, like, a jam band, and they wrote Two Princes, which was a big hit. Yeah. Fun fact, that is my, uh, uh, karaoke on tour is a big Thing we like to do on days off, and Two Princes is my go-to song. <laughs> I can do it without the lyrics. On the I will screen. tell you uh, my go-to song later. Okay, so, <laughs> remind me. Um, number nineteen mm. is the Despicable. That this will be on the list. Okay, I'm just pissed. Nirvana. Oh, why? Well, yeah. Why? Well, people love to throw around things like science. Well, <laughs> saying a band is overrated is very overrated to me. <laughs> <laughs> like you just say you don't like them, that's fine. But like, they were awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm a yeah. fan. I think like if you like '80s hardcore and like the thing that's happening like towards the end of the '80s, like Mud Honey and Sonic Youth and all the like, Nirvana was a great little gap. You know, <laughs> it was. And uh, uh, music wouldn't sound like it does now without no. some bands. And Nirvana's one of them. Now we talked about this a little bit off camera while we we're setting sure. up that Jeremy brought a very good point. That As I do. If you're a band long enough and successful enough, a lot of people are going to hate you. Right. So let's say 100,000 people hate you. Well, if you have a billion fans, that's not that big of a deal. That's a fair but, ratio. Uh, you know, 100,000 people still hate you. Right. That's just a hypothetical. See, but anyways, I think Nirvana was just so big and people were like, oh, they suck. I'm like, yeah, like I'm a hipster in Seattle. And right. I listen to... <laughs> I will say, uh, last point on Nirvana, I am shocked that when you go back and listen to Nevermind, which I do often, yeah. I still don't understand why it was as big as it was. You know what I mean? Because, like, Smells Like Teen Spirit doesn't have a sing-along chorus. It's kind of gibberish, you know? So I will say I that, I mean. but I but I love it. I just don't understand why it was on the radio at the same yeah, time. I get it. But 90s was kind of the Wild West with that a little bit, I think. Yeah, I get it. You're right. Mm. Um, yeah. I get that. I get that. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to remove my attachment to it, I'm, you know, because I've heard it so much. Right. First time I heard it, I was like... Like, no, he's saying, but still. yeah, but still, it's like, yeah. yeah. How so, many songs are on the radio without a chorus, you know? <laughs> very few. Uh, 18, Rush, which I've not ever been a huge Rush guy, no. but lately I have gotten more into into Rush. I saw them live when I was young, okay. and I was impressed. How was it? Yeah. it was good. It was very good. They're killer. They're monster players. No, for know? sure. I think that maybe... No, Rush guys, don't 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 yeah. stone me or anything here. Sure. But I think it's probably Geddy Lee's vocals that that yeah. probably attribute to that. It's an acquired taste, mm -hmm. okay? Which is a lot of things on this list are well, as, as a bass player. People are uh, all the time oh, like, yeah. "Oh, you probably love Rush and Primus," and uh, you know, it's yeah. like, "Well, yeah." Like I, I don't feel like we play the same instrument because <laughs> they're on a whole different universe. 
Yeah, yeah Russia's always felt too complicated to me, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but I like the Ramones a lot. So, number, we're going to blaze through these first ten because they're stupid. They shouldn't be on the list. Okay. Uh, no, number 17 is Pearl Jam. Oh, yeah. Come on. That's because of the vocals. Right. Again, I love the vocals. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I, I can't say a bad thing about Pearl Jam. Yeah. Um, I love them. Yeah. I'm just going to move on. Oasis is number 16. I... I disagree. They got some bangers. They got uh, some bangers. I guess people don't like them because they're kind of tool bags, personally. But oh, really? I've never met them. So well, but I kind of appreciate that. There's, there's a lot of funny stories about them being jerks. <laughs> cool. Number fifteen is Corn with a K. I get that. I 100 percent get it, and I think it should be much higher on the you, list. Well, you were in high school during the uh, the rap metal thing, right? Yeah, because you Lincoln Park. Yeah. So, I didn't like Corn. No, I I feel like maybe they seem unnecessarily dark. They're yeah. not as hard as they are dark. As someone who has the <laughs> personality of a golden retriever, I usually like music that matches that. <laughs> and so, as someone that loved Real Big Fish, I feel like Corn was a little too bummer for me. <laughs> Number 14 is Metallica. Yeah. I, which, he brought up another good point. I think there's a few bands that few people hate them more than their biggest fans. <laughs> and I think Metallica is one of those. Like, I think most people that would say, oh, Metallica's my favorite band, they would also bash every record since the Black Black Album, right, you know? Right, uh, And I, they're one of those bands, there's a few on this list, when they put out a new record, I always listen to it, because mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe it's going to be great again. <laughs> and their last few, it's like, it does. It never sucks, but it's like, it's fine. But okay. but they were a master of puppets, so to me, respect yeah, for life. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah, I'm like the first five or six albums. Yeah, I love them. Bulletproof. And then the rest I don't really pay much attention yeah. to. But not to say that they're not good. I'm not weighing in on that. But I think Metallica is a great man. Yeah. If you're at Master of Puppets, I mean, you get a pass for life. <laughs> yeah. uh, 13, Despicable. Should not even be close to the list is The Doors. Ah, Show yeah. some respect. That's That seems like I don't even want to give this an very hour of time. off for the rest of this. I know. Yeah. I don't understand why The Doors. I've heard. Yeah. Well, I, here's what I have heard. Mm -hmm. Same with The Beatles. Which Beatles, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I hate to say this, but maybe the greatest band of all time. Yeah. I love Zeppelin. That's my favorite, mm -hmm. but the greatest as far. That's But anyway, I hear a lot of people that talk about like, like they get deeper into music and they're like, oh, the doors are so seventh grade or whatever. Right. You know? yeah. They're all snobby, but the doors were amazing. Oh, okay. Their Genre. 1967 uh, debut album was like. It's amazing. Essential because, first of all, it flooded the market with tons of like psychedelic bands at the right. time. And, uh, like the Stooges would never happen. Exactly, I was about to say we wouldn't have the Stooges because Electra like went out on a limb and signed a bunch of crazy people because they had extra money because <laughs> right. the Doors did so well. Right, and so uh, MC5 the Stooges, so punk might have ever not, right. not have been what it is or exist at all without the Doors. Johnny yeah. Ramone said the three best American bands were the Beach Boys, the Doors, and the Ramones. <laughs> Which I like that he put his own band in there. <laughs> uh, number twelve is Green Day. Totally understandable. I, to see, me. Okay. To me. What about uh, to you? The, I got the album Dookie when I was 11. Uh -huh. And uh, it... I got a bass for Christmas that year because of it. Okay, all right. And I would say... <laughs> no offense, no offense. <laughs> so blame them. Um, but their... Kerplug, Dookie, and Insomniac to me are great. I think they're great punk albums. And I know... Uh, I argue that all the time. They're another band when they put out a record, I check it out because like maybe it'll blow me away. And it, mm -hmm. it's been probably since the '90s since that's happened. <laughs> no, Dookie, Dookie's a good album. Um, I just I've, I've never I've, I've just never attached. To yeah, myself. and maybe it's just well. complete uh, you know nostalgia. But I got that, and then I started getting into like you know all the other like a lot of other great indie bands because of them. So they were the gateway for me, I think. So. Okay, well, we won't touch it. I don't, I don't but, but they wear a lot of eyeliner now. And yeah, can, you know. I yeah, for me, like, I, I never... Um, all the people that liked Green Day, and not, like, casually, but, like, the people that were, like, super hardcore into Green Day, I just didn't like in high school. Yeah. I just wasn't... Not, 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 not talking about... I didn't know you in high school. You but think, I'm just we we would have maybe been friends. I oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, number 11, Coldplay, which... Okay. Um, I get. Yeah. I, I saw it coming. Sure. I saw it coming. I would maybe even I'm gonna say deserved maybe. I th like. no, I don't. I think there. I think it's a case of a lot of people hate them because a lot of people know them. Sure. And they're annoying to people because their songs are so overplayed on the radio. Yeah, that's fair. There anybody that has such a positive, mm -hmm. um, like outlook and like, you know, and they're good looking and you well, know. I would, yeah, sure. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, Jeremy had a uh, handwritten CD the other day that said a "Rush of Blood to the Cold Head" or something. <laughs> no, it was like a head of rushed blood, but it was a note on the X and Y album, so it wasn't even <laughs> "Rush of Blood to the Head." Anyways, that album, "Rush of Blood to the Head." That's their first a, two that's a good album. I, mean, I would say their first two are great, and then uh, I think even X and Y had some heaters on it. Um, but then every time they put out a new single, I'm like, it's just. It's not my. It's not for me. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm not, the prime demographic. I'm not crazy about it. Yeah. But Yellow's like, a banger, though. No one can argue a that. Banger. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of good songs. They're got. They're good songwriters. Yeah, for sure. sure. Okay, buckle up, guys. Okay. We're about to hit it hard with the top ten. Mm -hmm. Number ten, which I think should be higher on the list, Dave Matthews Band. Yes. Dave Matthews Band. Um. I first of all, I'll preface it. I don't even. I don't know how you feel about any of these bands, honestly, because we've opinions. never talked about them. I, I know you have opinions. <laughs> it's not anything you've ever lacked is opinions. <laughs> but um, Dave Matthews Band, I'll, I will first off say everybody in the band is like amazing top shelf players. Like yeah. they're all great. Mm -hmm. Dave Matthews is a great songwriter. Sure. But it's another. It's another one of those. I think that uh, a lot of their songs are can be annoying to some people. I like a lot of Dave Matthews songs, but I really love making fun of Dave Matthews band fans yeah. because they don't take easy, it well. No, easy, easy targets, targets. low-hanging fruit, <laughs> and it's just a lot of fun. I mean, it do is. I like Dave Matthews? Mm. Eh. Have I seen him in concert? Yes, and I enjoyed okay. it. I enjoyed it. But my brother, uh, who loves these videos and is probably watching this, uh, Justin. Hi. Shout out to you, Justin. Uh, he, he, <laughs> he hasn't visited me in Charlotte ever but he came up here to see Dave Matthews last week <laughs> so that's where we that's where we rank <laughs> so what's for Dave uh, Matthews you may not have a relationship right with him. <laughs> um see and again a aging it here uh so I was growing up in the time where when you got home from school you put on you know MTV or VH1 and maybe you'd catch a band you liked amidst all the bad ones and when Crash In uh Crash Into Me Gosh, I love that song so when much. that came out it was like every 10 minutes it was on one of those channels. And, got I, you, boy. and I hated it so much. By that point, I was deep into the Misfits and Black Flag. Oh, dude, man. <laughs> like, when I have to learn how to play that on guitar, like the, the can, you, reach, can you play Satellite? Um, no, I can play <laughs> Crash Into You, though. I have not tried to play Satellite. Sure. But, uh, I mean, Crash I'll into put you the tabs the out one. for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. But I remember like trying to get my fingers to hit it, and it was like, so, anyways. Oh, no, he's a monster. Well, but... I did it. I did it. I can do it now. Yeah. But it, it definitely helped my, my finger strength. All the dweebs in high school that played hacky sack in uh, you know on break. Oh, the patchouli. The kids they, who didn't take a shower, they just put on patchouli. They're like they oh, said God, they were hippies, but it's just because they just like Dave Matthews. That was the only band. <laughs> they definitely ate a lot of shrooms, yeah. smoked a lot of reefer, and then hung out <laughs> listening to Dave Matthews. And they're like, oh dude. Um, I remember. Oh gosh, I got a crazy story about. Yeah. Dump I'm not out. gonna go. I'm not gonna go into it. Okay. There's a friend of mine who used to grow mushrooms under his porch. <laughs> I never ate any mushrooms in my life. I've never done any drugs, but he uh, one time. It was, it was Dave Matthews involved. It's a bad, it's a bad story. All right, number nine <laughs> is another one I think should be much higher on the list. Kiss. Yeah, man. I do not like Kiss. Here's something I try to do occasionally, Dylan. Uh, occasionally, there's bands I've just never liked, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna revisit it, and give it a college try, maybe because I didn't used to like Iron Maiden in high school. Now they're one of my favorite bands. Okay. Like, okay. I like to Fair think. Enough. Sometimes maybe it's just not Have the right time. Have gotten time. there with Kiss? I've tried again recently and I can't do it. <laughs> every time I, because so, everybody, like, every time I say a negative comment about Kiss, which is semi often, I get a lot of hatred mm -hmm. on the channel. Uh, and then I, everybody's like, go listen to the first album. And I listen to it and, eh, whatever. They shouldn't be as famous as they are. Here's yeah. why they're famous. Um, uh, they are theatrical and they put on a good show. Right. And they're like comic book superhero rock stars. Right. Okay? Which makes me want to like them. Right. That's, that's right up your alley. I can see it being something that you like. But for me, I, I think if you grow grew up in that time and yeah. you like you were young when like all those kiss comic books and stuff came out, right. that would be like like amazing to you. And then you wouldn't be able to separate that because I think any any artist that's like semi worth their salt, if you get into their music and you listen to them enough with the positive like willing ear i think you would like anything yeah you know what i, I mean? think that's true so people that love that that from a young age you know young people are much more forgiving right on uh bad music so right well um, i mean liking green day <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> i mean i used to like lots of bad bands still do um we'll get to one of my one of my 
favorite bands in high school was in the top three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Number eight shouldn't be on here. Radiohead's amazing. Ah, yeah, come Radiohead. on. Radiohead. Okay, well, computer. It's a, it's a scenario of, I think, most people, almost every time I hear someone say they hate Radiohead, it's because they think, they always say, like, their fans are pretentious or something. It's always about the fans more. about the fans? Right. Who cares? Like, okay, computer's bulletproof record. God. Like to me, talk about and, fans that are annoying. And I'll actually say that I always like, I always like Radiohead fine until I saw them live, and it, it was oh, really? so great. Oh man, I such a great show. Live. Yeah, recommended. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, let's uh, go. Number seven is uh, is kind of twofold. We'll go into mm -hmm. uh, number seven is Fish. Okay, now, I have never. I've listened to a lot of Fish. I like what I hear, mm -hmm. but I just can't like really get into them hardcore. Um, it surprises me. I'll spoiler alert. Grateful Dead is not on this list. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I put out a poll on Instagram a while back of, "Hey, tell me your most hated band." Grateful Dead was frequent on that. List. Yeah. More right. frequent than than um, Fish, but um, you know, jam bands. I think a lot. You know, people yeah. are annoyed by the hacky sack, <laughs> patchouli smelling. The, you know? the hula hooping. And yeah. The <laughs> so we goes with Dave Matthews Band, Fish, stuff right. like that. You know. Uh, that culture, I think, is annoying to some people. I like the sound of fish. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Just for me, I've never really sunk my teeth into them. But, yeah. like, Grateful Dead's amazing. But I feel like a lot of people feel the same way. Well, and like I was just saying about trying to get into bands that I never like, I hated. And I think maybe I'm hypocritical about my Radiohead comment. Their fans, again, when I was in high school, it was like, they want to be hippies when you're 16. We're all wearing fish shirts. And I'm like, yeah, that's the hate hippies, you know. So I'm like, okay, like. I gave the Grateful Dead another shot recently, and I actually found a bunch of songs I like by them. You can't, you've, heard, you've listened to American Beauty. Right? Yeah, okay. and I like American it. And amazing. they still have some songs that I'm like, man, okay, skip. But there's a lot I really dig, and so I was like, well, let's give Fish a shot. And I was, I can't. I feel like is nerdy the right word? It feels kind of dweeby. <laughs> They're jumping on trampolines and playing like phasers on the bass and hey, I just can't do it. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't vouch for fish. Yeah. So, okay. Number six is despicable. Shouldn't be on the list, but I get it. Uh, Bob Dylan. Uh, I'm a big Bob big Dylan. Fan. Uh, I'm a big fan of yeah. Dylan. This is a, a tour book that we have on our mm -hmm. coffee shop table here. Coffee yeah. table. Uh, but anyways. Bob Dylan is one of the greatest songwriters um, mm -hmm. next to under Towns Van Zandt. I love almost every era of Bob Dylan. I yeah, appreciate all of them. I, I love Bob Dylan. I get like, um, oh gosh, look at these two. Uh, anyways, um, you know, I get why people make yeah. fun of Bob Dylan. Uh, my dad, um, short story, I was in school one day and uh, they called me in the principal's office over the loudspeaker. I was in like <laughs> seventh grade. And then I get there and my dad's sitting in the office and he looks like super pissed. And I'm like, crap, if my dad's gotten off work, he's here. Oh, I'm screwed. God. What happened? <laughs> yeah. and he's like, get in the car. And I'm like, so I get in the car and it's just total silence. And I'm like, what did I do? I, I can't even, well, I'm trying to pick which one which one thing I got called for. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, we get like 30 minutes down the road and I'm like, dad, where are we going? What's going on? He said, open the envelope under your seat. I was oh, seat. like an Oprah episode. Bob Dylan tickets. And he's like, he took me to see Bob Dylan. No way, and, that's awesome. It was, it, was best, it was a total joke. My school that's was in on it. It was great. And then like the whole time, uh, the whole Bob Dylan concert, he's just making fun of him the whole time. He's just like, oh, like, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, shut up, dad, you're going to get, you're going to get, yeah. you know, my Bob Dylan tickets. <laughs> Anyways, so I get the, the, the voice. People don't yeah. like it, but I love Bob Dylan. I get it. Number five, totally get it. Uh, Mumford and Sons. Yeah. Every song sounds the same and they're all bad. And, and I'll tell you, uh, <laughs> yes. And I'll tell you a deeper level. I'm, I am a big Avert Brothers fan. They're from the Charlotte area. Okay. I've been seeing them since they were playing for like 10 people. Uh, not to sound super cool, just they were a, lo they were a local band before they were massive. And the Mumford and Sons come out and they're from freaking like, you know, somewhere over there across the pond. England, Ireland, no, one of the two. Who cares? And, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and I didn't say that. <laughs> this isn't his channel. He doesn't have to deal with the reaper. But it seemed like they were so hardcore. They were doing the kick drum and the hi hat thing. It's like they seemed like they ripped off their brothers so hard, but they got more popular at least for a minute. And I, so I think I kind of didn't even give them a shot because I'm like, you guys are ripping off like our thing here, you know? Yeah, <laughs> they're hipster, uh, steampunk, bluegrass wannabe. Right, just annoying. Yeah. That's the only bad thing I'll, I'll say about any band here. 
Well, until we get to number two, I guess. Okay. I guess and number one. Anyways, so Mumford Sons, I get. I'll have yeah. to tell you my Avett Brothers story. Okay. I played with them one time. Ah. Around a campfire. It wasn't a big deal. That's awesome. Was before any of us were ever famous. Yeah, you had to one up me, though. Uh, I was just saying, <laughs> they wouldn't remember that. I was just there strumming a guitar, like having fun. I didn't know they were going to be famous. Right. All right. Um, number four is one I heard a lot. Mm -hmm. um, when I when I put the poll out on Instagram, this was a frequent one as well that it blew my mind. I was like, "Is, is this, are people having seizures?" And you know, I, number four is U two, yeah, which is stupid. That should not even be on the list. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Well, I don't know why people don't like U two. They're amazing. There's a, I mean, there was a South Park episode, and the whole bit was South like, they were like, "Why is." Like, how can Bono do so much good things, but people still hate him? And I think the bit was, he was, just, I don't know. That's true. Really gonna but, I, it's like, but it's true. It's like, people like love to hate him, but he's like, does all this charity stuff. And he's you know, amazing. <laughs> They're all amazing. Go, go sit down and listen to Rattle and Hum. Yeah. Oh and my I, I'm, gosh. A fan, I'm a fan too. Yeah. I know you are. Yeah. I know. But like, you two, like Joshua Tree is legitimately one of my mm -hmm. favorite albums of all time. Yeah. Rattle and Hum is one of my favorite live albums of all time. The documentary on Rattle, Rattle and Hum is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I love Octane Baby. That's one oh of my, my favorites. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, The Edge revolutionized the way people use guitar effect mm -hmm. pedals and like changed the way music sounds. You two is amazing. And I, yeah. I, 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 I'm just. I'm just disgusted. <laughs> Get out of here, science. <laughs> Bullcrap. Oh, my gosh. Okay, number three is one that um, we all saw coming. This okay. is one. The, number, the top three are no surprise. They are well-earned spots on the list. Okay, let's get into it. Number three is Creed. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I loved Creed. Did you? you I loved it. I was, I, was, I was too young to know they were... Were, were you allowed to listen to whatever music you wanted? No. Okay. So. Creed, Creed was a loophole. I was only allowed to listen to Christian yeah. music or oldies. All my friends that were really into Creed is because their parents would let <laughs> See, I could listen yeah. to parents who they wanted. This was like 12. I was like 12 or 13. Uh, it was very saturated in my friend group. Yeah. We all liked it. I didn't know any better. Uh -huh. um, I had not ever heard Pearl Jam. Right. So I didn't know <laughs> how much he was ripping that off. There, I feel like one of their first singles, the the should have been there on a Sunday morning. That song, it was on their should have been there <laughs> on a Sunday morning, making my. I remember not hating that when it first came out, and then it was on the radio every thirty seconds, and you know back when yeah. okay, radio yeah. was like podcast, but uh, <laughs> but it was just on all the time. <laughs> it's, it's commercials for erectile dysfunction. Right. Um, so. Human Clay, I didn't like as much. It was, it was, you know, but Weathered, oh my gosh. They you. need to put that on vinyl. They need to put it on vinyl. I swear, I, I, I still, every time I listen to it, I'm like, I'm, I have a friend that every time I think of it, I'll just send him a voice memo and I'll just say, Oh my now. <laughs> Cause I'm six feet from you. And I'm thinking, thinking. And then like a 30 minute pause. <laughs> so, oh my gosh anyways cool. but it, but yeah like so i didn't know music would could be better than that so right and, it great. and it turns out it could and it was yeah. <laughs> like after that phase of my life when i was like really really super young and and mm -hmm. was listening to what was on the radio yeah. and then i got into deeper bands and better stuff like when i heard nirvana it was all over well at least you know? I'll, I'll say this in defense of creed and some of these bands at least they were a band that wrote their own songs yeah, you know, I mean, like, like I don't like them, but at least they did their thing and it got his popular. Name? You know, um, what's his name? The guitar player. Um, no, that's me. <laughs> uh, he's amazing. He's like, oh, yeah. incredible. Oh, no, right, absolutely. Like, um, shoot, what's his name? People are gonna burn me the stake. Uh, actually, probably not. They're probably pretty forgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Number I, two, yeah, I think if there's anything you've said on this that you won't uh, get. <laughs> Tremonti. Uh, Tremonti. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mark Tremonti, I think. Uh, yeah, he, he's, he's, he's an amazing guitar player. Number two, Limp Biscuit. Okay. Which, first of all, let's just start with the name. Sure. Limp Biscuit. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible name. Number two, um, horrible band. Yeah. Can, Every, I hate everything about them. Can I. This is something I was just kind of thinking about the other day, though, about uh, on Limp Biscuit, and not in defense of them per se, oh, not being devil's go. advocate here. You got to be that guy. But it's something interesting about it. So <laughs> that first record, uh, Three Dollar Bill, y'all, which is a very awful name, and a lot of bad music on it. But I will say this about Limp Biscuit, because uh, I got that record when it came out, just because it was like I didn't really like Corn, but then the, I don't know, I liked the Faith cover because I was fourteen, okay. you know, um, but. 
that's another example of an album that like when you listen to it it's like yeah they went out to be the rap metal cartoon characters for sure but that first it was like a really weird album you know mm -hmm. like it had a lot of like eight minute like kind of dirgy songs and is it good uh is it good because i'll go listen to it there's i will I, say if there's a song or two on there that maybe if you played for someone and didn't tell them what the band was they would think it was interesting okay here's i, I will say this in defense i have not listened to much Little biscuit yeah Everything I've ever heard, I've hated. Oh, and it's so, and rightfully so. I I have not ever. And given I'm not even defending title. the first one. I'm saying that like they didn't make that record thinking it was going to be double platinum. I'll say that it was double platinum. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and when you listen to like oh, everything yeah. besides the single, you're like, man, this is like kind of a strange album. You know. <laughs> I got to go back. And listen. Yeah, but I, it's uh, but no, they suck. So I agree. Don't get me wrong. Not a big fan. But <laughs> um. Number one is uh, is Nickelback. Okay, yeah. And I we will all say we all saw it coming. Mm -hmm. We we all knew that. And, but like, how would it feel to be a Nickelback to win? If you ask a hundred people, yeah, what is the worst band in history? Mm -hmm. Ninety nine of them will say Nickelback. Yeah, and there's no surprise. Everyone thinks that. So how would it feel to be like without question? It's not like well, the worst band could be no. Without question, the worst band is Nickelback. Yeah. It, you know why? I, I mean, I get it. I don't like them at all. It's like the. <laughs> it's such garbage rock. It's just like. It's like if oh, a pair man. of jean shorts got animated and came to life and started a band. That's what they would sound like. <laughs> it's like if a monster energy drink smoked a whole pack of camels uh, and uh, scratched off a losing lottery ticket. Uh, no, I'm joking. In the back of a bowling alley. <laughs> Listening to Garth Brooks' No Fences. With a, the DJ from a strip club. <laughs> he has one of those really long fingernails. <laughs> like anyway, sorry. We're, we're painting a, a graphic picture for you. But, here, but, you know, the crazy thing is they're <laughs> laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> so. I mean, they're they're popular. They make a lot of money. I mean, I, they, they definitely have a crowd. Yeah. And around here. Yeah. There's a lot of people that like Nickelback. Mm -hmm. They usually can, have an assortment of flags on their truck. You can spot them. <laughs> you have the the flag bearing Ford F1 or Ford F350, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, trucks with the skull and stickers and stuff. And then yeah. you got the Nickelback. And then you also have like the um, Axe body spray. Yeah. Um, they drive the Scion like or, or like the the <laughs> annoying cars that make too much noise and are right. fast. Yeah, uh, and then they listen to Nickelback. So they, you have both sides. I'm shocked at how often I hear it blasting out of the windows in cars while in traffic. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's like I feel like it's like man, people really actually like listen to this band. They do. I can't, I can't. Um, real quick before we we adjourn, mm. uh, the one that I'm shocked is not. Oh yeah. List. You want to tell? You have one? Mm, uh, I'll come up with one. It should be the hard. one. This is an artist. If that every single time I mention his name. I get a blast of hatred from both sides. People okay. that love him and people that hate him. And that is Ted Nugent. Oh, yeah. Ted Nugent should be on the list. And I don't hate mm -hmm. Ted Nugent. I yeah. actually think Ted Nugent's an incredible guitar player. Yeah. Um, he just has gotten in trouble. He's good with a bow and arrow. He's good with a bow and arrow, guys. He's, <laughs> he's a wizard <laughs> with a the, with the bow and arrow. But he's gotten in trouble with some of his, uh, we'll just say, ex extracurricular yeah. curricular activities. Uh, you know, the things yeah. outside of music have gotten him in trouble. I think most people that don't like him probably couldn't name a song by him, though. Yeah. I think I mo mean, most people which, think of him as his... Which brings me to my go-to karaoke song, which is Catch, Catch, Fever. Oh, that's a good one. I got to sing it every time I'm there. I'm not a huge Ted Nugent guy. I don't no. want to say that, but I'm just saying he's, uh, he's a fantastic guitar player. Yeah. Uh, you know, in most, like, little punk docs I watched, a lot of guys were like, yeah, before punk came out, I was like, Ian McKay was like, I was really into Ted Nugent, and we yeah. thought he was so great. <laughs> See, here's, here's what I don't get. Which is another person that should be on the list. Uh, yeah. He's just not popular enough to be on mine. the list. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm going to steal yours. You tell me yours. What's yours? Uh, Kid Rock. Oh, well, yeah. That's not even mine. Well, I thought you were about to say that. Because no, they can run in the same circles, kind of. This, this, this is what you would say. Uh, people don't have any problem if I talk about Gigi Allen. Oh, God. Yeah. But, yeah, they, like, Gigi Allen, like, racist... Uh, pooped on stage and threw it at people. Yeah, sexual assault. Like was arrested like 127 times. Yeah, like, like just the most horrible human being of all time. I watched you this documentary when I was like 15, and it was like scarred me. For yes, life. <laughs> yes, he's horrible. All right, nobody has any problem with me talking about Gigi Allen. Right, but if you mention Ted Nugent, just burn the place down. Right. Yeah. It's just bad. So yeah, anyway. Gigi Allen apologists are really funny to me. It's yeah, like, <laughs> uh, anyways. 
Thank you all for watching this video. Oh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Jeremy mm -hmm. has been a great guest. Uh, if you enjoy the video, uh, send us some comments. Defend your favorite bands that's been on uh, the yeah, list. Yeah, who, who should have been? Who should have been on the list, yeah. and why shouldn't Kiss have been on the list? Right. You tell us. Yeah, convince us. Convince, te tell and me. And we'll do the next video in Kiss Makeup if you can convince us. <laughs> if you can convince me, I will do that. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram. Have your pet spayed or neutered. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Boom, right under 30 minutes.